Hi everyone, welcome back to The Grind. We yeah. are um, going to be talking about message two of the series Christmas playlist, and we're going to be looking at Mary's song, and yes, going to be a good Mary discussion Disney. today, so yes. Yeah. All right, so in the theme of Christmas, as uh-huh. I said in the last week's Grind, yep. what is something that you're thankful for that you know you can't live without? Mm. Oh. I think for me, I'll just start. Oh. Sandwiches. Dude, Ooh. I love sandwiches. Like like where I'm living right now, right below me, there's this place that does sourdough sandwiches. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> I don't know, I just love sandwiches. What's I'm like, I'm like, I'm like oh. Joey Tribbiani. This is the greatest sandwich in the world! Is this a Subway? <laughs> Dude, Subway, <laughs> Dumb subway doesn't is the share best. food! So uh, is a uh, is hamburgers a sandwich and uh, don't uh, hot, hot, dogs? hot dog? <laughs> don't get me started. So something that we're thankful for that we can't live without. Uh, for me would be uh, I have this this bag. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this bag of everything in it, which is like uh, anything related to my guitar. Are you which Mary is like Poppins? <laughs> 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 or Doraemon? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it, it's it's it has my ca- my capos, my um, especially my half capo. That one is one of my most uh, important thing that I almost bring every day. So yeah, I just love my half capo. For anyone who doesn't know what half capo is, it's capo for the guitar, but it's half. <laughs> wow, enlightened. Wow, you. <laughs> Never been so enlightened in my life. <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> what I'm thankful for that I cannot live without is my. Um, how do I how do I put this? Your my, mom? well, no. besides that. Um, <laughs> is my lack of ability no sorry what is this the word basically my ability to um break down lactose so you know how a lot of asians can't break down lactose i'm very happy that i'm not one of those asians that cannot break down lactose because i love me my milk and dairy products so okay okay so yes um can't really imagine my life without dairy products (laughs) i know i'm thankful for that Nice. My goal is to try milk in every single country because it tastes different. Mm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I know it's a random thing to be thankful for, but that's what I am thankful for. And mm. uh, don't think I can imagine my life without that ability. So yep. cool. Right. So on to this week's message. We are looking at Mary and mm. uh, something that she was, I guess, approached with. But she was approached by Gabriel yeah. and you know, said that she will be with child. And you know, it's a blessing, right? But then on the flip side, some might say, "Is it? Is it really? Yeah. Is it really a blessing?" So I, I figured that you know, there's some things you know in life that you know one might see as a blessing, maybe me actually is a curse. I don't know. And I thought maybe we could spend some time talking about that. Sure. Like for example, like let's go with say, fame. Mm. Is that a blessing? <laughs> what a way to start it off. So that's, that's a, out of the picture. Yeah, yeah. fame. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Like is it a blessing or is it a curse? What do yeah. you what do you guys think? Ooh, well, that seems. I yeah. honestly think yeah, it's true as well because of course when it comes to fame, it really depends on like really balancing that. It's all about balance, I guess, because because fame can be if you're gonna be using that platform as a way to really influence people who are watching in a good way. Then of course, I would truly believe that's a blessing. So mm. yeah, yeah. I think I'm sure the blessings will outweigh the 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 curses, mm-hmm. um, because I, I I thought I have thought about this before that yeah it would be nice to be famous for what you do, yeah. but at the same time one thing I cannot tolerate is just, you know you're now you're exposing yourself to like oh, there's gonna be somewhere someone out there who's offended and you're gonna you're you're bound to have like a group of haters basically yeah. you're gonna be uh, growing a number of uh, enemies yeah, yeah your actions exactly. are, are your actions are gonna be watched yeah. Yeah. watched and also there's gonna be like an extreme lack of privacy yes. yeah so definitely yeah, yeah. Paparazzi hunting you down. so I remember when I had the style I was like you know what I think being a director is like the just right spot if you're an actor you're, you're gonna be swarmed but a director is just kind of like a nice sweet spot unless you really know. made a very awful movie <laughs> like Michael Bay <laughs> oh <laughs> sh- Wow. Maybe I, I was gonna not. say M. Night Shyamalan <laughs> Oh yeah Should I true. Should we even call out names I feel like it's I think it's fine. it's fine It's fine I'll bleep it out yeah. <laughs> um, um, For me I would say Another one that would ke- Can be Blessing and Or either a curse Would be technology oh, Especially ooh, nowadays That's a good right? one Yeah 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 So currently We are In an age Like we're in a modern age Where technology has been very like 
prominent. Mm. Yeah. I'm now yeah. thinking like we are going towards the era of like like Wally, like Wally oh, or no. Terminator Two. No. Where, uh, Wally, everyone's gonna be like you know on just on their little floats floating uh, around or, or wheelchairs. It it can be a curse because you are affected. Your time is affected. Your time with your family is affected, and and gaming as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why do I feel so caught out? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You're not yeah. the only one. Yeah. So yeah. All right, I have a few. So maybe rapid fire, and then yeah. you just say best you curse. Oh, I'll good. say um, having a big appetite. You get to eat a lot, but then you're gonna gain a lot of weight. Blessing or curse? Oh, blessing and a curse. Because you get to eat anything you want, but a curse because you're getting fat. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you have high metabolism. Exactly. Then yeah, it's yeah, a blessing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, next one. OCD. <sighs> you can be tidy but very controlling. It's a curse. Ooh. I would say it's a blessing for yourself, but it can be a curse for somebody else, because they don't want to hang out with you anymore. <laughs> no, but then the thing is, like, it's a curse for you because then everything you see, everything oh. needs to be a little bit more, yeah, straight, more in yes, line. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Um, also, of course, is relevant to now. Living in a cold environment is that a blessing or a curse? Ooh. It's a curse if I don't have warm clothes. I think it depends on who you are too. Like if if you have nose allergies, like for me, cold is not the best place to be in. Really? Yeah, I don't like being in the cold. I would hot, hot, hot. Not so. You can tell by like the attire of like <laughs> who enjoys the cold the most. Yeah, Clearly. exactly. So, and it's not even cold. <laughs> right. So with Mary, she like I said was approached by um, Gabriel and mm-hmm. was was um yeah something really out of the ordinary being yeah. informed that she was with child and mm-hmm. I think in her perspective she saw that as a blessing you know yeah. she said she said she kind of like yes I'll, I'll do this I'll, you know this this is it for me and she responded to the call upon her life so for her I suppose it was an unexpected good thing that happened yeah even though some might be like really though but mm-hmm. for her she saw it as a, a, a good thing that happened so for you guys uh, what are some unexpected good things that's happened in your life recently I serve in the healing rooms every mm-hmm. Saturday and uh, there's a lot of healings that I see and a lot of them are like it's kind of the same thing mm-hmm. like you know like someone's the pain is gone or like the leg has grown longer mm-hmm. right so those ones are uh, not really unexpected but one this this one miracle kind of did happen which was really cool was that there was a client who came in and he was in a coma mm-hmm. the first time I ever prayed for like, a person in coma and yeah next thing i know uh oh, oh, f- between the weeks he opened his eyes wow that's like, so cool yes and, and that was something that has never happened to me and it's yeah I, I was really excited about that oh wow well what a way to start off that question yeah <laughs> how can i even follow up with yeah, that exactly you know? <clears throat> i mean for me this one is not something that is unexpected but something that uh you know, like for example, uh, the one that I was gonna talk about was we had this uh, subcongregation um, service that we had mm-hmm. uh, j- just a week ago, and um, unexpected just because we we rarely have these sort of like subcongregation services. Usually, just happens that maybe once or twice a year, and and getting to meet up with this group of people, you there are unexpected things like you don't know what's how the flow is gonna be and stuff like that. But during that service, I felt like everything was perfect. Wow. Um, just just the uh, the unity that the worship team had, and then the transitions between uh, different parts of that service, I felt that the lord's presence was like really strong and and i'm really grateful to be part of it because just because the fact that i i i am able to experience the presence of god not only but personally but also with the people that you actually truly love and there as well so yeah, yeah that's cool <clears throat> wow um yeah i feel like mine is not as uh, spiritual <laughs> <laughs> and, i mean it's okay um, it's good but this involves again the sale. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Continue. Yep. Continue. So you know it's Christmas and it's you know, the season of like decorations and stuff like that. So obviously one of my responsibilities is to make Christmas happen at ICA in terms yeah, of yeah, yeah. decorations. So, um, so basically, well, where do we go when we want to you know get cheap decorations? We go on Taobao. So we decided to order a bunch of trees, and you know online this it tells the height. 
and it's like 1.5 meters, 1.8. I'm like, okay, this looks good. On picture, it looks good. When we got them, they were very skinny trees, and they were neither 1.5 nor 1.8. There was a very weird height. So I'm like, this is. So I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is what we have. Hello. So, uh, but you know, made it work. And then uh, what was amazing was IKEA decided to do a sale on their trees. Yeah. Uh, yeah for yeah, yeah. they dropped it from eight hundred dollars. I kid you not, to fifty dollars. Yeah. And I was like, that was oh, actually really oh, good. Oh, praise Jesus! You could have started to make it spiritual. Uh, Angel Gabriel told me. <laughs> 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 uh, no. Um, the more like actually major showed me a, a oh, Facebook wow. post, and I was like, okay. Major is truly an angel. Yeah. Major angel. <laughs> Anyway, he is. He is. He is. Yeah. Yeah. So hence, that was an unexpected good thing that wow, happened, that's cool. which was being that's able really to yeah. like get f- more trees at a cheaper price and also better. And the trees were actually their height; they were actually two meters mm. and one point five meters. Nice. That was not, yeah. Anyways, that was that was really good. That is. This is my frustration. In Taobao is like nothing is what they seem. Well, it's really like a l- based on luck, like. Like sometimes they re- they are unexpectedly good and some are ac- unexpectedly bad. So, yeah, yeah, most of the times for me, with, when it comes to Christmas, is very unexpectedly bad. <laughs> Sorry to hear. It went that. from a gold into like an orange, you know, like oh, a oh, yellow light into like God knows what this is. So yes, I can keep going on, but let's not, shall we? Because yeah. we're here to talk about the good things in life. Amen. The mm. unexpected. So uh, yes. Uh, Mary had an unexpected good thing that happened to her, and mm-hmm. it was a miracle yeah. that she experienced, and amazing miracles that you know that Dom experienced, and you know the things that happened in congregation. And Amen. we're believing that this season of Christmas we will see people come back to Jesus. Amen. That's the Amen. miracle that we're expecting. So here's a question for all of us: How would you respond and receive a miracle from God when you don't fully understand and might have a risk on your reputation or life? Because that's exactly what Mary faced. Mm. Because that definitely. <laughs> You know, she was at risk um, for her life, yeah, and also reputation because virgin girl. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> I think personally for me, uh, of course, I mean, like I've been talking about this a lot in in the grind as well. Usually, when it comes to really listening to what God has in store for you, uh, personally for me, I usually have, <clears throat> uh, especially if it's something that's almost impossible to happen. Um, you 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 have doubts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In in I definitely have. I don't think I have the same faith as how Mary has because just imagine when I found out that Rachel is pregnant for for Ruth. Basically, it's the first time. Um, you have to understand that this is basically something that you have no clue. Mm-hmm. No matter if you know that your parents conceived you, mm-hmm. my mom conceived me. Mm-hmm. You still don't get to experience it personally, yeah, yeah. and you you still have a lot of unknowns, and and you always have this saying where if if your if the 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 wife is pregnant, um, giving birth is a 50-50 chance. And then you think about the fact that that one is already in the picture. I don't think the medical thing, the medical stuff during that time were really great too. Mm-hmm. And then one more is the fact that. She is conceived in a very unnatural way, meaning like unnatural, oh, okay. meaning like, like yeah, yeah. The, the one that conceived gave, gave her uh, a, 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 a boy is the Holy Spirit, and it's oh. it's never happened again, or it has never happened before. Mm-hmm. So, of course, I mean, you need to, you have to have that amount of faith mm-hmm. to truly trust mm. someone that will be giving you mm-hmm. a baby. More so that the baby is part of a uh, 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 what do you call this a a, a prophecy mm. that he's gonna be the savior. So mm. yeah, yeah, that's what I think. I think for me, following the uh, my answer on the previous question, like on the same topic as for healing, prayer for healing, I think that's something that really like r- earlier on when I was still getting into this ministry, that was what really got me nervous. Was that like. I was so scared about praying for healing because I was scared that the healing would not come, and therefore I would like give God a bad reputation. I think I was really conscious about like performing on God's behalf, you know. And so, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah and so like sometimes when the healing doesn't come, I, I freak out. Right? Yeah. And then also on the and then maybe on the more extreme uh, spectrum of this, like 
if like like if God asks me to like you know punch the sickness or like spit in the dirt and rub it in their eye, dude, I'm terrified that if God ever asks me to do that, I'm like, God, yeah, you yeah, better yeah. make this really clear for me, or else something terrible is gonna happen if I hear wrong. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, st- stuff like this really. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's that would be interesting if I see Dom like. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like I don't know this guy. <laughs> I, I don't know who's that. Who's that? See, I see. No, is, not he, really. is he from ICA? <laughs> nah, not really. How I would respond and receive a miracle that I don't fully understand. I think I'll definitely need to take some time to process it mm-hmm. because I mean, when when you think miracle, you often think it's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's something about healing. How, something, something about yeah, healing. Yeah. But in this case with Mary, it wasn't really a, a healing thing. It was mm. just like a blessing or a child, right? Because sometimes we ask for things and it may come in a way that we may not expect it. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, it was Mary's heart desire to get have a child. Mm. Maybe in like, you know, the proper format, like get married, have a child, you know, not like before marriage, have a child. Yeah, um, yeah. And I think there have been times where I have asked God for something and I've, and I, and I see it happen but maybe I didn't realize that that was it happening mm-hmm. until much later then I reflect upon it and I was like oh so that's what it is mm. and I think it's a more of like kind of like I would say cautiously take it and process it yeah yeah. Um, because maybe at that point I may not necessarily see it as a miracle because I, I think that sometimes when things happen like yes it's a miracle you know it yes praise God but then there's some things that you don't necessarily realize it is until much later mm. where you see the process when you see things pan <coughs> through they're like oh yeah that was God's providence that was yeah. God coming through so I think just taking some time to just yeah that's good yeah Thank you, I, sir. I agree so with Mary I think the only way that she was able to respond like so faithfully is because she was magnifying God in mm. her life Amen. So another question is this: Is like, what are what are we magnifying in our lives? What has been a prime focus in our lives? Like, has it taken away our focus from God? You know, I'll just stay to the theme of this whole th- healing thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um. Yeah, I think there was a time where I I really wanted to just see miracles. Um. Mm. But then, I'll be honest. I think back then I was doing it for the wrong reasons. Mm. Um. Mm. I wanted to see miracles because. I felt it made me feel special. It made me feel distinguished from other people, mm. um, and also that it also gave me made me feel good because I felt like I was doing something for God's kingdom. Yeah, and like I said, it's not necessarily bad to to want to see miracles, but then mm. I think my heart posture was wrong. Mm. Mm. And so back then, I was what was I magnifying? I think I was trying to magnify myself, mm. uh, right? Uh, uh. And I was reading this book um, called Gift and Giver. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. There was a there was a line that really like convicted me, and mm-hmm. I have it here where it says, mm-hmm. "God will not continue to give us leadings if we use them merely to gauge our spirituality or keep ourselves emotionally excited." And that really like just called me out, like it's so important to be doing things for the right reasons mm-hmm. yeah. and with the right intentions. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, completely yeah. agree. I mean, like I I would also go in line with that too, particularly like. Um, if if we're gonna be talking about blessing and a curse as well, I would uh, another thing I would also say is a platform, like the place where you are uh, having the influence. Oh so yes. Like for me personally, one thing I would think about as well is being on stage. Yes. So I I've been in a situation where I'm quite similar to you as well, where uh, 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 when, especially during the times when it goes really well. And, and you're starting to become a bit over prideful mm. yourself as well. Yeah. But then, and then you start to neglect the fact that it wasn't you who did it, but it was the Holy Spirit who guided you, who made that way, who paved the way for really that 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 particular event or situation yeah. have become successful. So I think I think that's one of the things that I've been really really mindful of, and 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 one of the things that I've been really practicing as well and keep on doing as well is to be able to just uh, uh, pray to the Lord and give Him thanks mm-hmm. uh, bring Him back all the glory remind Him that, uh, to, to remind myself that mm-hmm. everything that I've that has happened there was not based on our efforts mm-hmm. but what yeah. has got, got yeah. done because exactly. no matter how much effort you make if the, the presence of God is not there then it's yeah. nothing so yeah, yeah. I mean uh, yeah as you said like same for me is that like I feel this is just a natural 
um, desire for like man like we always yeah. just want to see yeah. ourselves kind of like be Being up there yeah, 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 yeah I like the whole leave a mark on this world kind of thing mm-hmm. 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 but I think like as you said that the importance is that I feel God wants us to excel as well of course but of the course. most important thing about when we excel is that we still give God the glory that we are there because God was the one putting yeah. us there yeah that we would not be there without God yeah And, and yeah basically what is your intention what is your intention being in that sort of area as well yeah. and and are you leaving a legacy for yourself or are you leaving mm-hmm. a legacy for God yeah so, yeah. yeah when obviously with Christianity it's, rela- it's relationship not religion right and mm-hmm. oftentimes mm-hmm. it's so easy to say like yeah we are all about relationship we're not those religious people mm-hmm. but then sometimes our actions show otherwise which yeah. is reli- religion yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know for us for well i guess sometimes during in, especially when it's high when it's busy seasons and we need mm. to get things done I, mm. my mind shifts from relationship to like i need to get stuff done mm. it's all about making things happen for jesus mm. as opposed to doing things with jesus oh, okay. right like the focus is not necessarily on the relationship with jesus but mm. more of like i got a target to meet yeah and so that's how i guess sometimes that's i've seen that happen in my life mm. where mm the focus is completely wrong yeah. and I'm magnifying the wrong thing I'm not ma- I'm not magnifying God I'm magnifying the work yeah. that needs to be done yeah. and then when that happens the stress calms anxiety calms the yeah. well not really anxiety just more of like frustrations and easily triggered by just you know things that's not going my way because yeah. I need to meet this work target yeah. Yeah. so yes we're doing this for Jesus yeah. but it becomes more of like a I gotta do it you mm-hmm. know and then it just that becomes my main focus yeah yeah, yeah. so That's in a sense yeah it takes uh, me it takes it takes away from the focus on, on Jesus but more um, on like it's my to-do list yeah so with with Mary she magnified God and you know she, and she's glorifying God for his power his mm-hmm. holiness his mm-hmm. mercy mm-hmm. and I think these are just very significant af- aspects of God right his power his holiness his mm-hmm. mercy mm-hmm. um But has there been an aspect of God that has impacted you? Mm. Well, most of the time now, even the most recent ones, I think one of the things that really impacted me about God is His power. Mm-hmm. And more specifically is His omnipotence. Mm. Meaning He's He's always there. He's always around you. And I think this is one thing that I'm very grateful for and I really don't take for granted. Because... Um, I mean like sometimes I mean like what you were saying as well when you try to take effort mm-hmm. and, and and when you start to lose your focus on him mm-hmm. uh, that's when anxiety kicks in like mm-hmm. you were saying that's where fear comes in and that's where stress comes in because the thing is now you're pushing towards the area where you're putting effort as opposed to really having the Holy Spirit to take the lead and be there as just be present for and be available in that particular moment and I think Uh, lately one I, I'm really grateful for is because um, I've been ha- having these experiences especially during worship as well uh, where God has really revealed himself um, uh, and, and, and you can be overwhelmed with that that experience with mm-hmm. him and yeah I mean I feel like it's it's there's something that's happening that I don't know but I know that the Lord is doing something I think for me is uh, you know you know the There was a time in like youth group where people were the, pa- the uh, youth pastor would be like, "Hey, let's all get like a word for the season." Oh yeah, and I I got a word and it ended up being that word for the next few years, which oh. is God is sufficient. Oh wow! And I think that's something that is. I feel there's a lot of uh, internal problems mm-hmm. that I have. Like like I don't believe that. I, I believe that I need more, and I always I always need like the world's admiration or the world's praise. Yeah, but. The line God is sufficient is what I'm trying to speak to myself that I just need to God is what I need God's love is what I need not the world's that God is sufficient mm-hmm. even though it's hard for me to believe I need to like mm-hmm. get it in my head that mm-hmm. God is sufficient mm-hmm. so yeah amen mm-hmm. that's good one aspect of God that really impacted me mm-hmm. was his the father heart I think mm-hmm. I've mentioned this before yeah. and I think it's something that I always reflect upon and it is a such a key like a core memory a, a key milestone in my life mm. is the fact that I have a God who loves me so uh, beyond measure yeah. and uh, that's unconditional mm. and I think that really just speaks a lot to me and I think it's also 
it's something so supernatural as well. It's kind of hard to explain. Like, yeah. how did it speak to me? I don't know. It just, it just did. And yeah. and I think just seeing that this is such a big god that we have. Yeah. You know, one, you know, have you ever seen one of those videos where it's like you zoom out, like you start with like say something small, and then like a person, and then they're standing in the field, the fields, and you know, the a county, counties in the country, I mean city, and then, like and then a zoom out, zoom out, yeah. and then you see all of that in the hands of God, mm. and it just kind of, um. You know, awes me that this is the God who's holding us in our hands. Like we're so tiny, but He still cares and still loves. And I think that has impacted me in the sense of understanding and knowing my identity in in Christ, wow. and that I am adopted into His family. So yeah, that, that's, good. that's good. Yeah. So that's that. And that's I suppose with Mary at that moment when she met with the angel when she experienced all of that she's experienced all of that power holiness you know the the beauty of God mm. and, and just the provision of God yeah. so I mean I can't imagine being in Mary's shoe like that's such a huge task to have mm. but also wow what a calling mm. um, as well yeah so I think finally I just want to talk a little bit about like you know God's mercy yeah as well because he is, after all, the merciful God, yeah. and um, and because it's because of God's mercy that's why Mary has is with child because it's through Jesus mm -hmm. that we're and His sacrifice that we we are saved and we have yeah. eternal life. So yeah. that's in a way a picture of God's mercy. Mm -hmm. So how have we experienced God's mercy? I think for me, the way I would call it is constant refinement. Oh, wow! Because okay. God, no, 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 I, I. I like I, I really enjoy like medieval times and so <coughs> God gave me this picture where it's like in blacksmithing, right? Mm -hmm. That's Dude, that was in my picture right now. That was in my mind. Yeah, that, because yeah. that's what they do is when they hammer it, they're yeah. getting all the impurities out. And I think this is this is what this is what I'm so grateful about God's mercy is that he's constantly like it's it's he takes initiative. He doesn't wait for me to get somewhere. He's always trying to improve mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Like for example, earlier when I said that I was terrified to receive an instruction from God, like the the punching the sickness. Mm -hmm. When I was like kind of coming up with this answer, and I came up with that, and I said, "Oh, I'm t I'm terrified of this." Just as I said that, I kind of like hear God say, "Like, are you sure you want to believe that? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you want to keep that character, that 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 belief that mm -hmm. like that isn't something God wants me to have?" And just like that, God's like pointing it out and just saying, "Hey, you should that that's something you should get rid of." And so that's why I mean that constant refinement that he's always trying to improve me even though I'm so laid back. Mm. Yeah. You? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm still No, I'm 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 trying to remember the the phrase is it's qualify the call. Uh, calls the he doesn't he calls, call the qualify but he qualifies the call. Yeah. He qualifies the call. That one is the thing that comes into my mind when he talks about God's mercy. I mean like just the that phrase reminded me of also the situation with Mary mm. like he could have chosen anyone else yeah. but he chosen specifically Mary and and I think that goes the same for all of us I mean like we're not in a position where uh, that that we are right now that we feel that I'm, um, I'm, I'm speaking for all of us here as well the fact that we're here not because we're qualified but because the Lord has called us to be in this situation yeah. uh, most likely you've been in the situation in the grind where you've been talking about that this is not the first option that you were thinking about and then you just have that urge where you felt that the Lord has called you to mm -hmm. be in in IHOP was it IHOP? Why no why why I'm sorry 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 I hope it's the house of pancakes right <laughs> <laughs> sorry my bad it uh, is the house of pancakes but also the house of prayer oh okay okay I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know what's happening but yeah something like that and, and I think the same goes for you as well uh, especially being in healing rooms and those stuff and and for me as well and and this just uh, reveals the, the mercy and the grace that God has given us as well that even though we are not qualified um, uh, he chose us uh, for a reason and and maybe we're still in that journey and I pray that uh, we still we we keep on going in that path where God wants us to be and not be steered away because really I have I, I really take you guys seriously in terms of where you are at as well mm. and I'm really grateful to be part of your journey as well so Aww. yeah I'm so glad that you're part of my journey too <laughs> don't make me cry <laughs> I hop <laughs> hair and pancakes <laughs> tears and pancakes <laughs> anyway Pat how about you it's hard to pinpoint uh, like you know specific like these are the moments 
well exact moments I've experienced God's mercy but I feel because it's sometimes it's just all into like one blur of like I just know that God has protected my family mm. I know God has you know redeemed us has saved us like took us out of situations where it really wasn't exactly I mean the best but he brought us out even my own personal life as well the way I live my life you know how reckless it can be and yet yeah. you know honestly I probably should have died multiple times but <laughs> But God like, is just like, like oh, let's just take that girl out. And then just, you know, sometimes I have that emotion where it's just like, what's she doing? Just blur her just back. Just remind here. me of uh, Sims. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about Sims as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that's, you know, also Sim in God's Sim City. But, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, so I feel that that in, in very small ways, in very big ways, I've experienced God's mercy. So I think when you ask me, like, whether or not, like, yeah, it's God merciful when, he's, when you see all these things you know going on mm. i was like i can't explain everything but yeah. i know in my personal life i have seen his mercy mm. and therefore i will choose to believe that he's yeah. merciful Amen. so yeah so yeah thankful for a god who is you know he's merciful and with him there's miracles and may we i guess continue to magnify him mm. in our lives Amen. Uh, no matter what we face that's cool. good what all right we? yeah uh that's that for today and thanks for joining us and we'll catch you at our next grind bye, bye.